But it offered, since it was, it was going to be about six months before the, the job came open, offered for me to come up here to Winnipeg in the wintertime to, to finish off a project. So I came up here actually in December. And I had been raised in the, in the mountains of Colorado, so actually the weather wasn't that, that much different for me. And we're doing some research here, and they were just setting up the neuroscience program over here in St. Boniface, and they, and they allowed me to help design the labs. Actually, when I was in Kentucky, I was helping design the laboratories. And I was wondering, I was talking to Harry Schultz, um, where all the money came from to build a building like that in a, in a city that's not very large, right? Winnipeg's not very large. Oh, it all comes from charity. All comes from charity from a town this size and started looking at the amount of money that is brought in from St. Boniface locally and from the city and was stunned at how much giving there was and of course back then that was 14 years ago Winnipeg wasn't doing great and the economy was pretty down and yet millions of dollars coming in from the local community to fund research I'm thinking to myself this group of people really believe I was able to give a couple of lectures to, to the public before I ever applied for a job here, and in numerous questions, large group of people came out of all different stripes, you know. And I was just stunned at the, at the community, um, how, how much it supported the hospital, how much the hospital was in, in contact with things, how important that research was, that research was being done locally, and that the research be world class. Not just like, hey, we've got researchers, but it would be world-class research. It's just something between the ability to start my research right away without having to scramble for money and the, and the idea that I was living in a community where the person I pass on the street may very well have given money to, to fund research. You know, that, that's really important to me. It's important that I'm in a place where people realize that this is a critical thing and they want to be part of it and they want to be connected to the scientists themselves and that the scientists are willing to be out in the public and have that connection to the, the people because what are we doing here, right? Scientists are not cold-blooded creatures who do things for intellectual interest. Most of us are doing this because we have had some background or somebody important to us or ourselves have faced some disease, and we do it with passion, right? Scientists do what they do because of their emotional passion to do something to help people.